Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the RK Tokens podcast. Or should we say, welcome back? It seems like it's been, it don't seem like it's been a while. It's been a while since we've been here. Uh, we are the RK Tokens. I am the anomaly, Will Farrow. Hey, yo, Thomas, I came with Slick Living. I'm Patrick Cloud. And of course, we got the game genie himself, Cathadius, on the ones and twos. Shout out to him and Kalos Media, always keeping us held down. And the best technology gaming has to offer, whether retro or current to date, Kalos Media always gets it done with the arcade tokens and all deaf gaming. Uh, we got a lot to catch up on, fellas, man. It has been a, a little bit of a work hiatus between all of us you know what i'm saying like just been busy been yeah. busy man and so i, I want to like at least hear hear from y'all briefly before we jump in and then cleo what have you been up to within the last couple months man uh working working really closely with amazon prime on a few things uh working with marvel uh rolling out their their captain america sam wilson stuff this has been an amazing uh uh, rollout so far for what they've got planned, uh, even going into the next phase of Marvel. So it's been really cool to be linked up with them and working behind the scenes with you guys on a few things, man. We've got a lot of stuff coming from all deaf. So yeah, stay tuned, guys. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Pat, how about yourself? Man, uh, definitely, you know, unfortunately it was a gaming hiatus, but it was not a work hiatus, you know. Um, as you know, if anybody who's been uh, following the channel has, has seen, All Def has really ramped up and kind of become more of a media channel. So not it's not just comedy and music now. It has, you know, uh, you know, and it's ca cannabis and, and gaming obviously has been taking off within the last year. But, you know, we just added All Def Women, All Def Latino, All Def Poetry. You know, it's everything kind of just now spreading out. So it's really just like, you know, a lot of, you know, watering these new seeds and stuff like that. So that's been a lot, a lot of fun, but you know, just also, you know, growing my own channel as well and just trying to do as much, you know, writing and, and, and shooting as, as possible. So yeah, it's been fun. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, um, Mr. Yeah, it's good to be back. Good to be back. And uh, co of course, uh, Mr. Game Genie behind the ones and twos, man. Like what have you been up to these last couple of months, man? Hey man, uh, it's, it's it's there's a lot of I, I have not stopped gaming I'll leave it at that I know a lot of us of course you guys have whether it's been of course we'll talk about Wrestlemania I can't wait to hear your side of Wrestlemania how it was being there uh and everything like that but yeah that's then man I've been I've been doing a lot of uh, a lot of gaming a lot of a lot of old school stuff a lot of new school stuff you know we got a lot of things that dropped you know Pokemon Snap Resident Evil actually is coming out the Village is actually out. I mean, I'm not sure we're going to release this episode per se, but it will be out probably by the time this episode is out. So Resident we're Evil. We're talking about out. that today. Yeah, Resident we're Evil. We're talking coming about out. Resident Evil today. Yes, we talking about Resident Evil today. Today, exactly. That uh, Returnal. Uh, yeah, man, it's been it's it's been a lot of gaming on my side, man, and I'm I'm honestly really uh, glad to that this to stay working, just to stay busy. You know, we've all been busy, and that's that's the thing. It's not like we haven't been sitting around waiting for stuff. No, we've all been busy. <laughs> busy, yes, busy. Indeed. yes, indeed. And uh, well, of course, uh, Kadeem being you know the humble man that he is, uh, of course, left out one of the dopest things for us to give his flowers to on the first part of this RK Tokens podcast. Congratulations are in order because the game genie has made official partner on Twitch. Okay, the purple check is on his Twitch channel it's, for the Cathadius. And what, uh, what are they, what do you call your fans? I, I Listen, first of all, it's the pipe frame. Second of all, I, 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 I'm able to apply. I'm able to, I did not apply again. So okay. I have the numbers. I'm waiting because they want to see my trajectory is what they told me. That's what Twitch wants to see. You said the pipe train? <laughs> yeah, he calls no, his wait, pipe wait. train the pipe train. My hype trains are pipe trains. I hear that. Every time I hear it. It, yeah, the hype trains are pipe trains on my chat. It it is a lot going on. I got the the Deemster dance. It it's it's too much. I'm I'm a caricature of myself right now. I'm not even a man anymore. I'm a caricature. I'm not a man. This is what happens when you don't man. show your face, kid. They have yeah. to make something to I'm see. Not a man. I'm not a man. Anymore. I'm just a caricature. Just You're like, like the gorillas now, except it's just one of you. Exactly. Mm. That actually be kind of dope. Uh, but yeah, so um, 
of course, y'all know how this goes. We've kind of taken it back old school. We are infusing once again podcast conversation with gameplay. So uh, we're playing, uh, continuing our gameplay through God of War Ascension. Right now, we have passed it to Pat with the controls. So he is taking the reins, as you can see, in the God of War Ascension. This is the prequel for those that's kind of just joining in to the God of War franchise. So this is showing you how Kratos became the Kratos we know and love. So, uh, now that we got that set up, let's kind of uh, jump into let's let's play catch up. Yeah, let's man. play catch up, and I think the best way to start off is what everybody wants to hear: WrestleMania and the shit show, stain show that is Tampa, Florida. Oh, I oh, you Tampa, left it Tampa! Out. You oh, shouldn't have brought Tampa. that city up, man. Oh, oh Tampa. Tampa. Good old hey, look, Tampa. According, because you know it's it's been months, and you know I've holding my breath for two months is unheard of. So, I uh, <laughs> I dove into that uh, pretty pretty uh, pretty immediately, and uh, a- according to the locals, uh, the ones who were you know uh, not uh, not so peeved as to talk to me, <laughs> so you know I made my opinion known. Um, yeah, apparently we were just in the wrong spot. You know, we were in the wrong area. Uh, apparently, like the the stadium area is just not where it's at. Um, we, apparently, we should have gone to like you know, Clearwater, St. Pete's, which we did here. You know, and, and yeah. you know, uh, some Uber drivers did tell us that you know the ones we were able to get, the Uber drivers we were able to get told us that you know those <laughs> cracking spots. Um, Here's my thing with that though, Pat. This is so. This is just for me. It 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 wasn't that. It's the the. The city itself, though, because you couldn't stop the fact that the city decided to not come pick us up at the stadium. Like, it don't matter where we were at, even in St. Petersburg for that. That still just made the the experience come down just a little bit. But we'll get into that a little bit more in detail. But you saying they basically said we were in the wrong side of town. In the wrong spots, didn't get to the, like you said, the first, what what was the first thing you said to us when you saw us? Cleo and I found a, a food spot before we met up with Will, and it was a taco spot. And first thing Will said is, "You guys are some LA niggas." So we went all the way to Tampa, and we we tried some tacos. So you know, it's kind of it's it, that was I, I put that on us, you know. Yeah. But um, you know, from from what we got. Uh, what, what, I'm sorry, I just need to ask this question: What is Tampa? What is Florida's food even known for? Like, what is Florida known for? Ooh, Cuban food. Wow. Cuban. Oh my well, God, we're in Miami. Oof. Yeah, Ooh, Miami, man. exactly. Miami's a whole Ooh. different beast. Obviously, I'm not. I'm not talking like. So I, I know. I, I couldn't have bad food if I if I tried. If exactly. I looked for it. Even yeah. the crappy like appetizer bar food was fire. I don't know where I'm going. It's been that Facts. long. Yeah, it, it uh, opened yeah. something and then it opened like it. When you went over it's there, a pu- yeah, that's a puzzle part. I think like you open you open something, you also have to spin around. You know how God of War goes. But uh, um, Cleo, yeah, would man. you would you like to talk about your Tampa just, experience? Listen, man, that city is ugh. It's just ugh. There's no other way to describe it for me other than just ugh. It's like when you're in Miami and the weather changes on you. You know, it's everyone knows Florida's weather is just bipolar. It's it's sunny. And then it's it's tropical rainstorms, monsoon, and then it's back to a beautiful paradise in an hour. But for some odd reason, when we were in Tampa, the weather just hit differently. Maybe it's because maybe it's because I'll give it the credit that we were you know really excited for WrestleMania. Uh, thunderstorms could potentially have canceled WrestleMania. You know, we get to the arena during uh, during the first night, and they're telling us, hey. We can't start the show. Everyone go back out to the mezzanine level. So you're not out in the thunderstorm section and you might get electrocuted by, you know, a thunder thunderbolt that's going to hit the middle of the ring. Crazy shit. All right. We had to do that. But before we even got to the arena and even dealt with anything at WrestleMania, the food, trying to order food to be delivered to the hotel was oh. by far the worst. Did yours get stolen? Well, both of ours got both stolen. Both of ours got stolen. That's right. Both of ours got stolen. Mine Holy just got stolen. Shit. My my mine got stolen an hour and a half after yours. So to I didn't right, get to jump to the right. I'm gonna say maybe to the right. Yeah, to yeah, the to the right. right. Up there, uh, and then Cause you can jump over that, that guard thing. Yeah. There, you go. there you go. I tried uh, to keep it basic, Will. I said, you know what? There's a Taco Bell right down the street. They should deliver. I'll order from there. 
I put my, my order through. No, <laughs> it orders from a Taco Bell 45 minutes away from my location. Never arrives. That's one. Now it's getting hella late and certain uh, uh, food spots stop taking orders at like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. So I'm like, uh, so this, uh was, this was a different time. This was a, this was two times I had to deal with the food issue. Uh, damn. So first damn. night I'm trying to get the food done and I'm like, all right, let me just order wings. You can't mess up wings. There's right. no way you could mess up wings. 7-Eleven don't mess up wings. True. They messed up wings, guys. I don't know what kind of BS lemon pepper that was. It was char broiled. There was <laughs> legit black, like just, just like it came fresh off of, of, of an oven, just the, the surface of it. The it pan, was just pan was on your chicken wings. Yes. You know, look, man, people need to understand this. If you don't know how to make lemon pepper wings, don't make them. Use the other sauces. Mess those up. You don't mess up lemon pepper. Yeah, man. Wow. So that was our food journey with, that, with Tampa. That was my, it. We, we my went food to, journey. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, what was your food journey? My yeah. food journey was nothing like that. Like, I, you know, outside of like our time that we had to like go do normal stuff. Um, yeah. One, I had not realized um, I'm ratchet as fuck. I, I can finally admit that. I had no idea, like, I, I don't, I feel uncomfortable in spots. Like, the spot y'all was at, I felt very uncomfortable. When I got to my hotel, I had no idea that I was in the hood. And I did not know that until, like, because my, my street that the hotel gives you is a whole name of a different street. Where the hotel sits on is Martin Luther King Boulevard. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think so you, like, you know about it. Martin Luther King. Yeah, there's right. no suburbs that got a Martin Luther King Boulevard. Where? Go, gra go grab that. Uh, go grab that that thing and pull it out. Pull it out this way. No, keep going to the right. Maybe this way. Or... Yeah, actually, I think I can control it for you. Yeah, yeah. Go to the left. Pull oh, that that, that box thing. Yeah, you yeah. gotta keep. I think you gotta keep pulling yeah, that. Yeah, out. you gotta use this thing to, to move it around. Yeah. Cause yeah. you can also use that to grab that red, ch that other red chest that you saw. You can bring that over there too. You can go off the ledge. I think you can kick this thing actually. That's yeah. too much work. I think if you hold R one, it'll like kick it. Yeah, let's see. If you can kick so it you off can jump on that set. You see that second one to the right? Jump up. No, no. Oh, well. there you go. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah, you gotta use this thing to do what you gotta do. Go ahead, go ahead, Will. You were saying? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so uh my, my food order wasn't bad like that, man. Like I got to I got this spot called like BT restaurant. Um and I got like two nice proportion size fried pork chops with macaroni and cheese, cornbread, and something I never had before. Crab fried rice. Wait, what okay. was this? This was the first night we got there. What the fuck? How? This man ate good. Crab fries. Oh, I'm pissed. That's, a, that's, a, that's impossible good. because we were supposed to go to that spot that had crab fried rice the last day and we didn't make it. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, I that yo, like it was so like they came in, you know, the, the traditional styrofoam. Them two slabs of pork chops was sitting on top of the crab fried rice. I call Cappington, sir. You know what I call <laughs> Cappington. <laughs> There is Listen. absolutely no way this is true. We were you. We were all Pat, surprised. Hey, you know what, Pat? Like it was the first time. You know what, Pat? I'm glad you mentioned that. Let me. I have evidence to let you know where I was in Tampa, Florida. Because Tampa. the next. Why, why was there such a conversation about crab fried rice? Because apparently, I guess that like how like Cleo just said. I think Cleo could be just like, what are they known for? No, no, no. Uh, Kadeem asked like, what is Florida known for? I guess that's one of the things because I had never heard of crab fried rice till we got there. So you had a fire meal the first day. Yes, but let me show you why. Hold on one second. But Lucky. complained the same amount as us the Lucky. entire trip. He he ate good that first night, Pat. Meanwhile, me and you on the first night, where were we? We are at an independent wrestling match. We saw guys, <laughs> we saw Two Cold Scorpio. We saw Rich Swan and dudes had a full battle royale with ladders and chairs. Oh, what about your wings, Pat? <laughs> I went, I had uh, I had wings that were damn near Tyson. Like they were wet and fresh out the microwave. I don't even want to talk about that. Ugh. Ooh, wow. But and I got it. those as a last resort after trying to order Postmates, which got stolen. <laughs> Jeez. Fun times. But then, like you said, y'all got to go to the, uh, the, the wrestling show at that same yeah. night. That was actually uh, really fun. 
Yeah, while I was outside of my uh, hotel uh, parking lot pimping. Uh, but yes, this is let, this to let you know where I was. So y'all remember it, it uh, in Tampa, as Cleo mentioned. The rain is like a pregnant woman. You never know what what's been to come. So it bust out raining while we were there, and we like I got like soaked, and so the only like real hoodie I had was gone. So of course I'm in the hood. So the only thing in the hood is city trend. City trend. Does this not look? Like, like a city, city trend tr materials, bro. Where where are you selling the God. work out of with that hoodie? What are you doing, bro? Come on, man. I got stacks. I got this is it's, for the club. It's, it's the Miami Vice colors too. Like they think that shit fire. Like come on, dog. This is for the club. Come on. Oh no. Man. Oh, it gets worse. Oh, it gets worse. Because this is the yeah, one I had to wind up getting hoodie, man. Right. and wearing. This is what I wore to WrestleMania, y'all. Describe it. This so uh, there. This is a hoodie with white and black stripes, highlight yellow like you see on the people in the highways. Yep. A pink sleeve, a blue ass light sleeve, and that same neon highlighter green as the hoodie. Pyramid. What, what, and what, you know what, what was, the and it there? says pyramid the with elements? with with. <laughs> You gotta have a periodic table on there. Gold, platinum, and un un <laughs> unobtainium or unitanium. Un I don't know. I don't know if it's uni or un unobtainium. I don't know which one that is. Is that hey. a real? Is that a real one though? That, is that sounds really tight. Table? <laughs> unobtainium. But here. <laughs> In, in, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. That, no, you know that's what? Pathetic. No, no, no. You know what? I'm so sorry. That's not what this says, but I do know where I got that from. Avatar. Avatar. Remember the rocks, the stuff that they were looking for? That's Wait, what you're it talking was about called. Airbender or James Cameron? No, no, no James, James Cameron. Cameron. Yeah. Avatar, oh, yeah, like the little yeah. rock. Yeah, the little rocks they were searching for was called Unobtainium. Unobtainium? They made yeah. that that name up? That's not really on the... No, I, don't, I, don't I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. Know. But what was buy. funny about it was City Trend was like, oh, bro, hey, man, we've been having these flying off of the racks, bro. I'm surprised we still got one. Oh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Hot knives. Yeah, man. Ooh, I got so the flames listen, back. It hey. looks like it looks like Will had a great time in Tampa. Regardless, um, he had incredible food on night one. He went in shops. We didn't go to the mall in Tampa. We went to the mall in Miami, right? No, we, we went, went to the mall, mall in Tampa because we, we had to try did to find go to the mall in Tampa. We went to several malls in Tampa, actually. Yeah, we went there, and that's when we got rained out. We ended up in the um, the cheesecake factory. Mm hmm Because remember, we're trying to find me a hoodie and stuff. Yeah. And I know you hate, you hate the Cheesecake Factory, don't you, bro? Oh, you know I didn't eat no food out of you there. Know, I went there. I Wait, didn't you, get a, uh, didn't you get a cheesecake? I hate the food out of the Cheesecake Factory. I went there only specifically for a cheesecake that yeah. I told the woman not to put nuts on because I'm allergic to. We get back to the hotel, guess what? She Damn. put nuts on the cheesecake. <laughs> Tampa. 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 <laughs> Fucking Tampa. Fucking damn, but you know what? We don't want to. We, you know what? No, we go wait. Yes, we gonna keep talking about this BS that is Tampa. Okay, well, so well, uh, well, as most of y'all are gonna, uh, yeah. But after y'all gonna learn, uh, for some of y'all, these episodes are gonna be kind of broken into pieces. You know, we like to be transparent with y'all because we got a lot to catch up on. So you're gonna see these broken up a little bit into different parts, just so you can see what it's like to catch up with the arcade tokens after a long work hiatus. But yeah, um, back to fuck Tampa, man. Fucking Tampa. Uh, went to uh, we went to Tampa Joe's. Good old Tampa Joe's. The hell is Tampa that? Joe's? Is it, like, Tampa is, Joe's? It, is it like Papa Joe's but Tampa? Oh no no no! Don't you compare that to Papa Joe's? It's like <laughs> <laughs> don't do that to the southern. If if Applebee's had a slutty cousin that you knew probably <laughs> slept with their cousin, it'd be Tampa Joe. That'd be Tampa Joe. <laughs> Also, something that Tampa natives didn't uh, didn't really vouch for. Uh, they they were just like I don't know. I guess they didn't know what that was, but we had it. And uh, what y'all get? Bacon wrap, steak balls. <laughs> Bacon wrap, steak skewers. Um. Yeah, that was interesting. It didn't hit. The, our, our waitress was very nice, though. Yes. Yes. Hey, she Pe was. Old Peggy Stu. Old Peggy Sue took care of us. Man. Yes, she did. 
Hey, Pat, I think you gotta hit L3 and R3. Uh, to, her to... and the lack of ass in her jeans helped us out very uh, much. Will! Huh? Will! What? It was a good old homegrown for the white woman, okay? I mean, but she, she she wore the pants. She wore the pants, man. You can't, you know, you, we're not going to get into that. We're not going to get into that. Um, we went to the movies, though, as well. So that was also a new experience ever since Talk the pandemic. About that. We went to yes. the movies. We haven't been inside a theater that entire Corona COVID quarantine. And we went to Tampa and said, we're going to the movies. Yes, we did. We went, not only did we go to the movies, we went to IMAX and we went to go see epic epicness in IMAX fashion, which was, of course, Godzilla versus King Kong. But we did arrive an hour and a half to her because it was We did me. arrive, yes. We arrived and very Tampa Joe. Yep. <laughs> and so it's going to Tampa Joe. How was the drinks uh, though, Pat? Were the drinks good? Uh, I forget what I got. I think I got like a, a watermelon mojito. It's okay. That, yep, that means no. It was, it was like you said, it was okay. Um, before we move into this, we're also going to be talking about um, Godzilla versus uh, King Kong. Uh, later into the the, uh, the sections of these podcasts, but we want to still kind of keep with the Tampa um, theme. Uh, what else did we have? Apparently, um, it is very offensive in Florida for you to wear a mask in public. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. it was actually surprisingly masked up. No, no, no. Will's talking about the guy who told us to take off the mask. Oh, that's that. I mean, that's that's that. Oh, I just died. That's that good old fashioned world star white. Like, I don't know how mask is like deeply tied in with like racism, but it's just like you wearing a mask. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was that was very that was very interesting. That was very interesting. We have been the RK tokens. I'm the anomaly Will Farrow. Cleo Thomas, I give him slick living. I'm Patrick Cloud. And as always, shout out to the Game Genie, Cathadius, and Kalos Media, always keeping us connected with the most up-to-date and the future of gaming, whether it be retro or today. And we will catch you next time.